virtualize everything. Tonight's video presentation is going to be about installing and setting up Nextcloud on a Proxmox LXC. So we've loaded our Proxmox web interface here and let's create a container. Now the container's been created, so we're going to close it and find it in our list of containers and VMs over here. Select it, then we're going to go to Options, and we're going to go to Features here, where it says Nesting equals 1, and we're going to highlight it and hit Edit, and then we're going to this FUSE, which is a file system that we're going to need to enable in order to use some of the software that we're going to have to use to get Snap to run correctly inside of this container. We're going to use something called Squash Fast, and that's going to allow us to download Snap and other things that will allow us to install Nextcloud. So let's go ahead and check that and press OK. Now we're ready to go ahead and start up this container by pressing Start. And console. All right, and we can log in with the root user and the password that we set up. Now I'm going to go ahead and do most of this in the root user today. That's just more or less for simplicity of the video. But drop a comment below if you want to see how to create other users and disable the root user. I'll make a video on it if enough of you ask for that. All right, so first thing I want to do is run an apt update and and dash y to update and upgrade the repositories for this container. This will just update the container so the newest stuff is available and being used. Now let's run apt install squash fuse space snap or snapd as the command is dash y and hit enter. This will install all the needed programs to then install Nextcloud. At this point, we're going to have an app armor problem if we try to proceed with the process. So what we want to do now is reboot this container. We can do that with the command reboot and log in again. Now logged in, we can run snap install next cloud. So this error message I got is an app armor error message. Let's just try rebooting one more time. All right, so it worked this time and next cloud is fully installed. Now we have to go ahead and install next cloud even though we've installed it using snap. The first command we want to do is next cloud dot manual dash install and then our default username and I'm just putting test here today and our default password and I'm going to use test again as you can tell this is not one that I'm going to use in the future and then we can press enter again this is actually going to fully install Nextcloud and configure the default username and password for the admin console all right so Nextcloud should be installed. The next thing we need to do is configure Nextcloud so that we can access it using our IP address or the domain name that we're going to point at the IP address using something like Pi-hole or another DNS server on our network. Check through my videos if you'd like to see a video on doing that. I have one on using Pi-hole for such a video. But today, we're just going to configure the IP address. So, you saw us configure the IP address before, but say we forgot it, we can use the command IP address to display the IP address that we configured. Right here, at 10.10.2.154, you can see the configured IP address that we used. Alright, so now we'll type nextcloud.occ config colon 
system colon set trusted domains one dash dash value equals and our IP address and press enter all right so now that that has run our terminal configuration for setting up our next cloud installation is complete let's go ahead and try to log into our new Nextcloud server so here at the browser let's open a new tab and enter the IP address then we can enter our default username and our password press enter and there you have it there's an installation of nextcloud available and ready to use should be able to go to files at this point Alrighty, so there's nextcloud in a proxmox container on ubuntu 22.04 if you've made it this far you may have asked why we didn't use a turnkey template well it's because sometimes turnkey might not be the best option. It might leave you limited as far as operating system updates and security patches. And you might want to run it in a little bit different of a way. It's also fun to learn how different servers are set up and configured. So you can test them and find what works best in your particular scenario. As always, have a good night and please like, share, subscribe to help continue virtualize everything in its growth.